guys, it's Kristen with IcyStarsQuilting.com and we're going shopping today. I'm going to take you along with me. I'm going to show you like the process and how I shop. Um, today, specifically, I am shopping for a jelly roll quilt that I'm going to make. I, of course, am going to, um, I decided I want to coordinate my own fabrics for this quilt. I really, really want to personalize it to the recipient of this quilt. I'm going to go into Joann's in just a few minutes and I am going to um, kind of coordinate my own bundle. So let's go shopping. So this is the section when you first walk in the store that has all the amazing seasonal items and you just have to browse. Usually at the front of the store, there is also all of the seasonal fabrics. Those are not usually on sale, but they're the ones that are coming up for the next season. Then you'll usually find all of your beautiful fabrics, sometimes sorted by rainbow order, like in this store right here. So many fabrics. Do you guys see this? Like the selection is, is huge here. If you have any type of decision making disorder here, um, you're going to find it really hard. Usually at my Joann's, I will find a section of clearance fabrics or fabrics that they're trying to get rid of. They're the very last bolt of it, or it's, um, you know, a season that has already passed in some cases. So I like to look for this little section. Usually it's just a couple racks, maybe double sided, like in this case. I mean, these are $3.99 a yard, and they're the Quilter Showcase brand. If you're looking for a really, really good deal, look for fabrics that are almost end of bolt, okay? So if you buy enough of that fabric, you can get the end of bolt at a remnant price. So you can buy up the very end of that. It helps the store out to get rid of some of the bolts. It, it helps you out in your pocket to get a little bit of extra savings on your fabric as well. So there's just, there's a lot of fabrics here in this section today that I really like. Like this black and white polka dot one is a really, really good filler fabrics. I love this blue one here with the chevrons on it. However, um, you know, take it out and feel it. It's not exactly a super high quality one. It is kind of a thinner fabric and, um, you know, I'm worried it's not going to be as soft and comfortable. Now these two right here are, you know, past season. They're very wintry, very Christmassy. And here is the other side of the sale shelf just to show you like there's a lot of good stuff in here. Oh look, here's another one with the mittens. Super cute again. So here is the novelty prints. Now a lot of your quilt shops will have novelty prints, but they won't have a ton of them. So um, this Joann's happens to have like so many novelty prints and they are on sale for like $6.99 a yard, which is a pretty good price. Now this is what I'm really, really excited about today. There is a sale on the solids. Look at that. There's Kona solids for $6.99 a yard. And I'm really excited. Now my Joann's happens to mix all of the other brands with the Kona. So you have to be very, very careful when you're shopping. Make sure you look at the end of the bolt. See if you can figure out what brand it is and how much it is. You can see the, the price difference in those two brands right there. So keep looking for the Kona ones and see if you can find the really good ones. I like Kona. I feel very comfortable washing it not having pre-washed it or ironed it beforehand and it's not going to bleed. This color right here is my favorite. So they also have other solids here. Uh, their uh, Country Cotton brand is a fairly good brand. It does tend to be a little bit thinner than the Kona ones, but still for $4.99, that is a really, really good price if you need a good background or a backing fabric. Okay, let's talk about whites, okay? And this applies to all other solids too, but I have the most trouble with the whites. Do you see all of these white bolts of fabric? Do you see that no two of them are the same color white? That's because they're different brands, one, and they come from different dye lots, okay? So if you have a project and you want to use white fabric, I highly, highly, highly suggest buying extra white fabric so that you have plenty on hand should you make a mistake. The next section that I definitely always hit up is the clearance section. Now this one is a really, really big clearance section. You're not always going to find quilting cotton here, but you will find really, really fun flannels, really fun like minkies. There's definitely specific themed projects here and fabric, um, as well as fleece and home decor. 
I mean, there's a lot of different stuff in here, but you have to dig for it. Now, the remnant section is a very, very handy section as well. You're gonna have to dig through some of the ugly stuff to find the pretty stuff. This one, um, it's looking a little empty today, but it is a really good section to always make sure you browse. You can find some really good deals. Personally, I am pretty well stocked up on my notions, but I always have to check because there might be something new, right? There might be something out there that I don't know about yet, and I always have to check and see. So I stocked up here and I got a lot of things that I needed and a lot of really good sale deals here. Things that I needed, things that I didn't need. <laughs> it's It's been a good shopping trip. But I didn't quite get everything I wanted. I couldn't find like that one signature fabric that I could build everything else on. So what I ended up getting was some filler fabrics. Ones that I know are kind of in like the neutral area of where I'm going with this quilt. Like I got a uh, black with white polka dots. I got a pink polka dot. I got pink with like flowers on it. Kind of all in the same tones that I'm going for. But I didn't find that one signature fabric. I am now part at my quilt shop my favorite place god I love this place okay so I'm gonna go shopping in here and see what else I can find um, we're just gonna make a fabric shopping day out of it and uh, I'll show you all of the stuff that I got at Joanne's after I get back from this trip as well this is my shop it's called quilters crossing it's in Tomball Texas if you're down this way please do give it a visit they have a really, really good selection of fabrics. These are the fat quarters that they had today. Um, those shelves are usually really full. Somebody else has been in here before me, but look at all of this beautiful fabric that is just waiting for somebody to take it and make these amazing projects with it. I mean, so much color, so much quality. This is my favorite designer, Carrie Bloomston, right here. She's got several of them in this little section here. There's more, Tula Pink has her own like shelf, okay, her own shelf display play and usually that is really full too. One thing that I really really like about the quilt shops is they normally have displays of projects that you can make. Not just pictures of projects but like the actual bag. How cute is this rainbow striped bag right here with the cork accents. Here's another bag that is made with the tulip pink fabric. It's the elemental tote. So cute. A good combination of fabrics. Beautiful displays of fabric here. More project bags that you can make. That one's a jelly roll strip. I mean, pre-cuts galore. Anything you could possibly want. More cotton and steel fabric here. I mean, just gorgeous. You can tell I had a really, really good time in here. So here is their solid section. I kind of browsed through this. I absolutely love those confetti prints over there on the right side. They are just gorgeous. My favorite fabrics to use as backgrounds and filler fabrics are these right here. These solids are just beautiful. They, and then, you know, if you're looking for something that's not totally solid, but has a little bit of print to it, where you can go, I need something pink. And you'll have tons of pinks right there that you can compare, contrast, see which ones you like, which ones work, what tones work best. So here's the real question. Um, what did I come home with, right? <laughs> it was a good day. So I came home with a lot of variety of fabrics. This right here was from Joann's. I also picked up a few solids to kind of fill in. And then I could not go home without these beautiful fabrics right here. How cute is that? This rainbow one right here is going to make an adorable binding on a quilt, I think. Uh, I also um, found this right here. This is a border print that is embroidered and it is an apparel fabric that is on denim. But, oh God, I fell in love with it. And I mean, look at the detail on this embroidery. It is beautiful. And no, I do not know what I'm going to sew it with yet, what I'm going to make with it, but I'm going to love it because it is so soft. So that's what I found at Joann's. This is what I brought home from Quilters Crossing, my quilt shop. I found this Carrie Bloomston elephant print fabric. I love it. I also dug through their end of bolt and remnants bin. I found several good finds there. These are always on sale. I did not grab a ton of the fat quarters because I have a lot currently, but I did grab a few. And then I also picked up some of my favorite, favorite fabrics. Like, I mean, this pink one with the stars that is a cotton and steel print. I pick it up every single time I see it. And this black one with the stripes, I thought would make a really, really good binding for the current quilt that I'm working on right now. 
so that's what I got today. That's all my stuff. Hopefully you got some good tips and tricks. You know, um, it's always nice to see how somebody else shops for their fabrics. Um, I appreciate you coming along with me and sticking it all the way through the end of this video. Uh, if you want more tips, tricks, and tutorials on modern quilting, I'm your girl, right? So feel free to subscribe to the channel down below. Please hit that button and then hit that little bell. Make sure you check me out on Instagram too. I do some lives on Instagram. Those are really, really fun to do. And um, I look forward to talking to you soon. So I'm gonna see if I can go sew something now. I'm Kristen with icystarsquilting.com and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh yeah, and if anybody asks all the fabric that I bought today, it was on sale, right? <laughs>